What is up, everyone? We are back here with some more Metroid Dread. Just got done beating uh, one of the bosses. I believe I re I did some research, research, and I believe the name of the boss is Corpius. We did the Corpius boss fight. It's the one that looks like a scorpion, located right here. Oh yeah, right there, literally, Corpius. So, and we got the Phantom Cloak. So this is much. This is how much we have um, done so far. In terms of exploration, uh, now that we have the Phantom Cloak, it does seem like we can continue to explore some areas, specifically the sensor lock doors, because now we can use the Phantom Cloak and get past them. So, go ahead and continue exploring Arteria and see how much we can advance. So, so far, I'm really enjoying this game. Seems like the map is gonna be something that is we're gonna be we're going we're going to have to be constantly going back to certain areas because of new abilities that we discover. Which I mean I personally really enjoy that. Right now, I'm just gonna go over to one of the doors that I believe we can get through now. So being this one, you see how we have locked right there, but if we do our cloak, we'd be able to get through. Just like that. We also got the ability that allows us to hang on these blue surfaces. Alright, so it seems I should not have done that. <laughs> Daily streams now, Kyle? Oh, maybe, maybe. Nah, probably not. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll try to fit more streams in if I can. But, you know, I got other things to do still. So got the gym. I would like to stream daily if I can. But we got it looks like we just gotta go ahead and avoid these. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, a new area. So I'm gonna say no for now. I mean, I, I do see it being possible that we can't complete everything in Arteria before, so that me meaning that we would have to move on to the, the next area in order to um, maybe unlock certain areas here. Let me see if there's anything that we can still do here before moving on to the next area. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's move on to the next area. Last of Us? Dude, I was thinking about streaming The Last of Us. Part 2, of course. Remastered, of course. <laughs> it's been a while since I played it, so... I mean, I, I played it when it released, so... There would definitely be some things... Obviously, the big moments I, I know of, but there would be some things that for sure happened that I have forgotten about. I gotta say, in this game, they make Samus look super dope. So we don't have the map here. I guess let's just start exploring. Oh, 
Oh, we see here a new enemy. Are we able to destroy it? Or is that we need to get its shield off? I don't know. It doesn't really seem like I'm doing any damage to it. Oh. But for now, I'll just skip it. CPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magna is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the central routing system for the magma. It is here in Tataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Tataris. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find a path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Float ability. The Phantom Float prevents the ME from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to run. Now, bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Note that using the Phantom Float severely decreases your mobility, and direct contact with an ME will still result in capture. It is up to you whether to hold your position. Just be aware of your surroundings. The Phantom Float is useless. Once an enemy sees you, you will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. The Phantom Float can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival. Right, so that makes sense. We kind of already learned about that when we got the Phantom Cloak, but I guess it was just reiterating that. Um, oops. So it seems like we may not be able to progress much in this area because of the heat. And we've already come across some areas actually that we weren't able to travel through because of the heat. So that's where I was just now. Let's go ahead and open up this shortcut. Let's see what we got here. Thermal fuse flow has been redirected. Oh, and now I can't go this way because it, it's no longer no longer like running through there. So we can kind of see where it's pointing us to. defeat this thing. 
guessing like in that moment or not totally sure actually I'm gonna run away for now oh it even reaches me like that dang I'm pretty low on health actually ah okay not gonna try that again not right now, at least. That did a lot of damage. Hey, where are we on the map now? I kind of don't mind these little enemies right here because I can just keep killing them and then regain some health really quick. Nope. That's a no. That's a no go right there. Oh wow. We got another one. Ah, but we got our cloak on right there, so... That's just like an example of how we can evade detection from these guys. While the phantom cloak is activated, an Emmy cannot see or detect Samus. Remain cautious. Gliding with an Emmy will still result in capture. So it just sucks because it seems like they still have really good hearing. Oh god. What? Oh, I didn't know it was going to be twice. Yeah. And now any enemies can crawl in tighter spaces? Yeah. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. I think I messed up right there. I got kind of panicked, to be honest. Oh, 
Ah, no, I tried to avoid it. Dang, it's quick. Okay, so now we should be good. So now I can use the Phantom Cloak to evade it, I believe. Oh my god, that was close. No, what? Ah, man, that's pretty tough. It seems like we did a pretty good job of avoiding it that time. Oh, but I hear it now. They're persistent. I gotta give it to them. They are persistent. So I changed the direction of the thermal fuel again. So let's check out where we are on the map now. See what happens if we go this way. We can't go this way. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Now I see why we can't go that way. So we just gotta go ahead and go back the way we were going. We can see now that the thermal, whatever they call it, thermal something has been switched. So let's go ahead and follow it and see where it leads us. Ah, okay. Oh, nope. I like come up and like just hit this thing. Does that work or no? I don't think so, right? What does that do? Okay, turn that that on. Oh, okay, so you can shadow cloak while you're hanging on to like any surfaces or anything like that. That's good to know. Wait, have we been here? Oh yeah, we were actually here, so... That's the door that we couldn't get through previously.
All right, let's see what we got here. We're gonna be shifting it again, or what? The thermal fuel? Just constantly shifting it. So let's go ahead and just follow it, see where it leads us. We might as well save it. Oh, so now we can... I don't believe we have gone through here. So it doesn't even seem like we can go through this area yet. Be a little bit cautious here because we can see that the Emmy is for sure here. Oh, God. There we go. That was pretty good right there. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure we're going the right way area, and it does seem like it. Oh, wow. Of course. I always forget that I can also like carry them in the air. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. I wasn't using the free aiming right there. Okay, okay. Doing pretty good. Uploading data. Emmy stands for Expert Planetary Multiform Mobile Identifier. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capabilities. Its ability to configure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any Emmy you encounter will likely do so as it pursues you. 
you are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even at your full capabilities. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. Study each enemy carefully, and use the Phantom Cloak to advance. There are risks even here. The Phantom Cloak reduces your mobility and consumes more even when you move or shoot. It is still your best chance at survival. Do not hesitate to destroy an enemy whenever you discover more unique energy. This was not one of your original priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Well, not what I like to hear, right? I don't think you like to hear that. You're helpless. <laughs> It's just the reality of the game. I'll look to you straight. Uh, let me see what's down here. Oops. Ah. Okay. I am just dying out here. You know what, let's skip this guy for now, cause, or else I'm just gonna die. Uh oh. Coming for me or not? There it is. Oh, I don't have, oh. Oh my god. Alright. Seems like we should ride. Oh, nope, nope. I spoke too soon. Just trying to get some health though. Alright, now we're safe. Downloaded. Ah, for sure. I swear I was getting the parry down in my last gameplay, but. I don't know if, if I'm, I'm just a little bit rusty or what. Looks like we found another type of like switch right there. So now we turn on another machine. And we drain the water. Flash ball lava? I don't know what that was. Was that water or, or lava? Looks like lava because it was red, but it didn't look like it had like the same texture as lava.
Okay, where's lava? Oh god. Oh, okay, here we are. Oh, here it is again. Wasting no time. I wonder if... Oh, right here. Okay. Go ahead and save it again. Now, let's check out where we are. We might have to go through this way. Let's try that. This is where the lava was before, so that's why I say we're we're good to go here now. Energy part acquired, one fourth, like four to increase energy capacity. Hey, that was definitely something good that we got. So now we can get through this area. Those things are have a lot of health or a lot of armor. All right, so we got two ways to go here. Let's go this way. Always really nice to see once you unlock the map, because now we know like over here is kind of like a dead end. So we can kind of just head over here and see if there's any like item or anything like that. 
And it seems like all there was here was really just this. Just the uh, reload. Once again, we switch the direction of the thermal fuel. Wonder if there's anything like behind this thing. Oh, it's not worth it. <laughs> there we go. Not see that coming. I noticed that like this area is glowing, so that's kind of why I was kind of just shooting around right there, thinking maybe I can find like some type of hidden item. here another area uh, I don't know if I want to do that yet let's see well I guess nothing back here but yeah I mean I guess let's go ahead and get through here Loading screens are pretty sick. <laughs> it's quiet, but the visuals are just so nice. So now we're in a different area. Oops, I was not paying attention right there. I gotta practice the pairing more. Alright, so there was nothing down there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so it seems like I can't do anything much about that. I don't understand that. How come it, it shows like that little flash that I can parry but nothing happens when I do? 
I have to be like close up to it. Ooh, that is nice. There we go. Maybe for certain for certain enemies do I have to be like up next to it to parry it? very dark. This whole area is very dark. I don't know if I should come, maybe I should wake before coming, going through there. Like maybe I can turn the power on. My first guess. But at the same time, it doesn't seem like we can do anything up this way either, so... Actually, I take it back. I think we do need to go this way. Oh. I think there's like a monster or something in there, a creature. Oh, is it gonna be an Emmy? An Emmy through this? Through the night, through the darkness would be pretty sick actually. Terrifying, but sick. And it's so dark. It's pitch black. Power? But we're also gonna let out the Emmy. I'm calling it now. Guess also turning these things on too. Ooh, what do we got here? Wide beam. Fire three beams. Ah, uh, there we go. Simultaneously, press Y to fire. This beam can push wide beam boxes and destroy wide beam covers. Very, very nice. So, that's kind of an example right there. 
So now we're gonna be able to get through the doors that add that. Oh, that's sick. So am I always gonna have this now? That is so nice. We should be able to get through some areas. Like over here. There we go. Nice. There we go. Now we got an Emmy here. A yellow one. And it's quick. I just trapped myself. Oh. oh, there we go. Was there anything else back here that I could have done? Oh. Okay, that's... Of course. Those damn Emmys, man. They're unavoidable. Dude, this one is quick. I guess we can just go through here. I guess we're good doing this. Got another saving area. Alright, but I think we've advanced a pretty good amount. So we made it all the way to the Darion map. The Darion area. So... I think that was pretty good. We didn't come across any boss or anything like that, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping we would, but nope. But we also got some pretty sick abilities. Um, are we, can we see our abilities somehow? Huh, I don't know. Maybe not. But we got that new beam ability, so that's pretty sick. So we'll go ahead and continue this next time. Uh, if you like this content, please like, please subscribe. It uh, really means a lot. It really helps me. And yeah, peace.